<laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Hope you guys are doing amazing out there on this fine, fine, fine Tuesday evening. It's about 11 p.m. here in the great state of Ohio, and uh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. What's up, Shane? How's it going, man? So, I, I wanted to kind of check in with you guys and uh, and let you know how things are going here in Ohio. Uh, and you guys feel free to let me know how you're doing in your states and how things are going in your towns. But I just thought I'd check in and give you guys an update uh, here in Springfield, Ohio, where I'm at. Um, first of all, um, I don't think there's been any like like official recorded cases of coronavirus here that I'm aware of. Um, but you know, who knows people could have it. I mean, if you think about it, you know, it just, it's like the flu, like you probably aren't going to go to the doctors and get tested unless a problem or something, you know, you're probably just going to stay at home and just try to like sleep it off, you know, for a couple days, you know, but, uh, here in Ohio, I'll tell you how it's happening here in Springfield. Um, so for here, it's been like, they closed down, they closed down the restaurants. Um, they closed down the bars. I don't really drink, so I don't hang out at the bars anyway. But um, they closed down the bowling alleys. They closed down the the, the movie theaters. Um, they they closed down all these places. They closed down all the government buildings. Um, we had we have two twenty four hour Walmart super centers in Springfield, and uh, they changed the hours on those. I think now they've moved those between 7 a.m. and 11 p.m. So the, I think those are the new hours, or maybe it's 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. So the hours have changed uh, for most of the stores around here. Um, what else can I tell you guys? Um, oh, the other thing is, uh, man, people are just buying tons of food and hoarding lots of supplies. There's a lot of hoarding going on, people hoarding supplies. I went to the grocery store the day before yesterday, and um, – you know, there wasn't any milk. There was, I'm, I'm t dude, we got a big Walmart and, uh, there wasn't any milk. It was a wall of milk, almond milk, all that stuff gone. Uh, eggs gone, uh, meat gone, lunch meat gone. Um, uh, toilet paper, of course, toilet paper gone. Uh, napkins gone, paper towels gone. Uh, it's all kinds of crap gone. Prepackaged salads gone. <laughs> Uh, so, um, now don't worry about me, uh, guys, I, I, I'm sure nobody's really thinking about me. I mean, think about yourselves. Uh, but don't, don't, don't think I'm complaining. Uh, I'm lucky because, you know, my wife and I, we, uh, we've been paying attention to the CDC for weeks now leading up to this whole thing. So we had kind of been kind of squirreling some extra stuff away, you know, um, so, you know, we kind of just kind of prepared, but when we were like getting supplies and stuff together, um, we weren't buying like large amounts at, at one time. Um, we were buying a little bit extra here on this grocery order, a little bit extra there on that grocery order. Um, and, uh, no one else seemed to care at that time. Um, so that's how that worked. So we just got kind of lucky and we kind of just paid attention. So now we have a little bit of a, a, a stock, um, but I could see, here's the thing I could see where s people who didn't have any kind of a surplus or stock, I could see where if they went to the grocery store just to get their normal groceries and they looked around, I could see where they could kind of get freaked out and start like, um, I could see where they get freaked out and start buying extra stuff. I, I could see because you know what they're thinking, you guys. And I know our first reaction is to look at people like that and say, man, look at these clowns. Man, why don't you guys just calm down? That's our first reaction to think that, you know. But then if you just dig a little bit deeper, you'd understand, right, that like they're doing that because they're afraid that if they don't do it now, there's not going to be any food. Like what are they going to do when they run out of food and they can't get any food? That's why they're doing it. They're afraid, right? So when you think about it on that level, then you get kind of worried and you start, start thinking like, damn, man, this is this is crazy. So anyways, I talked to the employee at Walmart and he says, uh, yeah, man, we're getting normal stock in. I mean, there's nothing different from our end. We're getting normal amounts of supplies in, just like always. The only difference is everyone is hoarding it. Like as soon as we, like we're not even putting the toilet paper on the shelves anymore because we just bring it in and lay the pallet down and that people just take it all. 
Um, so that's the only difference. And I think that's one good thing. If this news story kind of falls out of the, the 24 hour news cycle, if they can just move on and talk about something else for a little while, then I think people might start, you know, not being so freaked out, but at the same time, you know, my city's under a state of emergency, my state's under a state of emergency. And I think that as long as all these restaurants are closed and all these businesses are closed, it's going to be really hard for people to forget. People are probably going to stay a little freaked out until businesses start opening again and the 24 hour news cycle moves on. Um, but it's funny because I really don't know, you know, how serious the coronavirus is. I mean, I've, I've heard mixed stories. It seems like 80% of the people who get it recover. And then it also seems like some people get a really big freaking deal, you know, and then some people get it and they freaking die. So, um, I've been told that, uh, you know, if you've had it already, then you kind of have an immunity to it for a while, at least until like a year or something. But it, it really does seem like there's a lot of mixed information out there and people don't really know you're hearing a lot of information. What I would suggest, and you just take the leave it, but what I suggest is only getting your information from like or the WHO, or um, like in Ohio, I, I don't know how many of you guys are from Ohio, but uh, Ohio's got a website dedicated to just coronavirus in Ohio. And it's, excuse me, it's a coronavirus.ohio.gov. And they got like updates for it there. It's crazy, man. I, I think, I tell you guys though, I, I don't think there's been anything like, uh, I don't think there's ever been anything like this as far as like all these i've never seen it i'm 43 years old i've never seen all these uh establishments closed down and 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 stuff like that i've never seen it i mean i've never seen the nba cancel their season i've never seen the ncaa tournament has never canceled the tournament that's never happened in the history of the ncaa um and i was reading about that and they're gonna lose about a billion dollars from canceling the NCAA tournament. The NCAA is going to lose about a billion dollars. That's how much money is going to get lost from closing that tournament. So, you know, it's a big deal and they didn't take it lightly. Um, but uh, yeah, man, it's crazy. I don't know. Um, anyways, guys, I just wanted to say, hey, man, I'm thinking about all you guys. Um, because the funny thing about it is I was just thinking about this today. Like, you, you drive around town and you look at all these closed buildings and all these closed businesses and you think, man, I just want to kind of get away from this stuff. Let's go on a road trip and get out of this place, you know, but there's nowhere to go. You can't take a road trip anywhere. It's everywhere. You go to the next town over, it's, it's the, there too. You can't leave America and go to Australia. It's there too. There's nowhere to go. All over the place. Everyone is dealing with this. No one is immune from the pandemic. We're all it as best we can. And so the the bottom line is, um, you know, we got to stay strong. Uh, we got to try not to panic about stuff. I think. More people are panicking when they go to the grocery store and see that there's no food than that are panicking about any kind of a virus. Um, and, and I do believe that, and that's the truth. N not seeing any food at the grocery store or not having a job to go to because uh, their place of employment has locked down. Um, and I think that's got people freaking out quite a bit. Um, I'm really blessed in that respect because I work for myself from my house. So <laughs> the only thing it really does against me is, you know, keep me from going on late night junk food raids to the grocery store for frozen pizza and candy bars. Um, I work from home anyway. So the adjustment here in my house hasn't been as great as probably a lot of people. So I do really feel for a lot of people. Um, also I have family and my family they don't have the same situation I have. So, you know, I'm calling them and trying to check on them and see how they're doing and stuff. And, and it's not just me. I know everybody's in that situation. So I feel for all you guys out there. Uh, I know we're all going through the same thing. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. 
you're dealing with the same crap. Um, and I think the time that all you strong people out there, all of us strong people out there, we need to stand up and be the leaders that we can be and try to be calm for everybody else. Even though it's scary, um, you know, we control how we react to scary things. You know what I mean, guys? Uh, just because things are scary, and this is most definitely a scary time, uh, we can't control the things that happen to us, but we can control how we react to those things. Um, and I think it's important to stay calm and uh, be smart in these times. So anyways, I'll be praying for all you guys. Um, and I'll try to do another one of these updates uh, here in a few days. Um, but we're doing okay here in Ohio. Um, it's getting a little scary, but it's getting scary everywhere. But guys, we're going to be okay. Let's just get through this thing. Let's get back to business. Peace, everybody.